In this video, I'm gonna talk about the most common nootropic dangers. Nootropics are a type of smart drug which can basically enhance your brain and your cognitive abilities and make you think better. If you've seen the film Limitless, you'll be familiar with you know, Bradley Cooper when he takes that limitless pill. You've all seen that tiny little limitless pill. If you haven't, go and watch the film, it's really good. And when he takes this pill, he's able to do incredible things with his brain. He's able to learn things much faster than normal. He's able to remember anything that's ever happened to him. And he's able to sort of bring these things together and create an incredible life in a very short period of time. He basically just changes everything about his life and improves everything. He learns how to make money really quickly. So nootropics are good in general, okay? They can help you boost your brain power. Now, the brain power you're currently using is not as good as it could be. Our brains are like machines, and so if we feed them the right fuel in terms of nutrition, food, water, and getting enough sleep, that is gonna make them sort of perform better. Now, once you're at that level, once you're you know eating properly, you're sleeping for eight or nine hours a night, and you're exercising, and all of those normal things that you should be doing, once those things are in place, you can actually go beyond that an extra 10 or 20% or even more and boost your brain power to a super high level where you're like the guy from Limitless or you know any other kind of super clever, really intelligent person that you can imagine. And you can do this with this type of smart drug called nootropics, but there are some dangers to nootropics. There are some risks or things that you want to worry about, especially if you're new to this and you're just thinking, oh wow, I want to become like Limitless or Bradley Cooper or somebody like that. And you have no idea how any of this works and you're not even taking a supplement like a multivitamin, if you just jump straight in and start taking a crazy amount of nootropics, you're gonna have some pretty bad side effects. And I need to say this right now, okay? None of this is medical advice. Do your own research, okay? I'm not a medical advisor or anything like that. I have had a lot of experience with nootropics and I've been taking them for about seven years or more now. So I kind of know what I'm talking about in terms of what to watch out for, but I'm not gonna go into the technical neuroscience and everything like that in this video. Basically, for beginners, for people who know nothing or who are very new to nootropics, here is what I would suggest you do, okay? Firstly, don't take nootropics unless you already have that high level of health, unless you're already exercising daily, meditating, sleeping well, drinking enough water, and eating a good diet. No amount of nootropics is gonna help you if all of that stuff is screwed up, okay? You can't expect it to do to work miracles, okay? You need to have a base level of health and mental performance first, and then you can boost that with a nootropic. So once you've got that in order, or assuming you're just gonna jump straight in and ignore what I just said, there are some nootropics you wanna try out, and some that you wanna steer away from at the beginning, okay? So firstly, and this is kind of the easiest kind of win, the low hanging fruit for most of you, if you just take a caffeine supplement, and if you take a caffeine supplement with L-theanine, that's what the nootropic is called, that is gonna have a profound effect on your performance and your mental capacity. Most of us are familiar with the effects of coffee, okay? Coffee makes us feel good, it sort of energizes you and makes you more focused. But what usually happens is you'll have the coffee, your focus will go way up here, and then very quickly after about half an hour or so, your focus will drop and you'll need another cup of coffee and so you're over the course of a day you'll experience like a rise and then a drop, a rise and then a drop. And this will keep happening until you go to sleep or if you have too much coffee you can't sleep, right? But that's another story. What L-theanine does, it balances out the effects of the caffeine. So you take the caffeine with the L-theanine and that makes the effects of the caffeine last longer and instead of having a big rise and then a drop, you experience a more steady kind of higher level of performance all day instead of just for one hour and then you need another cup of coffee. It's a really effective nootropic stack. Okay, a stack is when you combine more than one nootropic. So in this case, we're combining caffeine and L-theanine. If you combine those two, there's very little chance of anything going wrong. However, this is about the dangers of nootropics, the, the risks, okay? So just doing that is fine for beginners in most cases. However, if you then start going in and taking something like modafinil or any of the other things like that, you're gonna experience side effects, okay? And those side effects will be quite annoying and quite, they can be quite severe in some people. What I would suggest to avoid those side effects, just start with something really simple like L-theanine and caffeine. Very simple nootropic stack, okay? Now, the danger is that if you jump in and take so many nootropics that you don't even know how they interact, you, firstly, don't know which one is giving you the results, good or bad, and secondly, they're gonna interact either good or bad with each other in a good or bad way. You might find that, let's say, if you take Qualia Mind with, let's say, OptiNeuro or MindLab Pro or something, you might find that they interact badly or that there is such a high level of one vitamin or nutrient in both of these things that when you combine them together, you get way too much of a particular nutrient or vitamin and this is gonna put your entire body out of balance. There are side effects associated with high levels or too high levels of some specific vitamins. So you need to bear that in mind, okay? Don't do that. Don't go and take so many nootropics that you don't know the interactions. Here is how you avoid that danger. 
journal how things go. So write down how you're getting on with each particular nootropic and only test one thing at a time. So let's say if you wanna dedicate, let's say two weeks to each nootropic. Dedicate two weeks to the first one, write down each day how you feel and how you perform, and then stop taking that one, and then start taking the second one, and the third, and so on. You don't wanna test everything at the same time because how are you gonna know which one is having a good or bad effect on you? You have no idea. Another really big danger of nootropics is that you become dependent on them or you build up a tolerance. Now this is mostly found with things that contain caffeine. However, not always. It can be the case with other supplement ingredients as well. Here is how you avoid that danger, okay? And by tolerance, I mean you need to take more and more of them to actually get the same effect and you get to the point where you can't even perform at a normal level without taking the nootropic. You do not want to get to that point. As with any supplement or nootropic, you do not want to become dependent on that nootropic. You want it to give you a boost when you want it. You might not want it all the time. So you wanna make sure that it's not gonna build up a tolerance or you're not gonna become dependent on the nootropic. So here's how you do that. Firstly, only stick to the recommended dosage. Don't try and increase this to try and beat the system or you know hack yourself unless you really, really know what you're doing. Because in most cases, you're just gonna have side effects and it's gonna be a bad time, okay? So just stick with the recommended dosage, chill out and just take it one step at a time. Secondly, make sure that you, if it's a caffeine-based supplement, cycle it okay so don't take it every single day take it on weekdays or take it for the first three weeks of the month every day and then you have a week off the most common use and this is what i've been doing is to take it only on weekdays so that you have that break every single week you only have it for five days and then you have two days to reset your dopamine system very important that you do that so anyway, that's been the biggest dangers of nootropics. I hope you understand and hope you can avoid these. Now, this video isn't over yet because I wanna explain one really powerful nootropic that I consider to be the best, or at least one of the best nootropics out there. And that is Mind Lab Pro. I have a link in the description where you can go and get it and learn more. There is basically over 10 ingredients in this thing. Each one of them is really backed by science. They have studies showing this, third-party peer-reviewed studies showing the increases in performance, memory capabilities, articulation, all of this stuff. People all around the world use this nootropic because it's so effective. People like chess grandmasters, you know, lecturers, scientists, and people who want to increase their brain capacity and ability to do things with their mind and body. Really powerful supplement. It does not contain caffeine, so you can't build up a tolerance to it. So there's no side effects and no bad side to MindLab Pro. So like I said, check that out in the description. And I'd love to hear your experience with nootropics, so leave a comment and I'll see you next time.